Hey guys, today's video is gonna be super fun. I know that it's not even close to Christmas yet and depending on where you are, there may or may not be snow in Canada, here specifically in Ontario. We haven't gotten any snow yet, but who's to say that it's too soon to start with Christmas decorations or not? Especially for me because I don't celebrate Halloween. Christmas comes early for me. So I always get a head start on my decorating and making my crafts. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make 3D paper snowflakes. I learned how to make these in elementary school and I couldn't believe how simple but beautiful these were. And they're so much fun to make with your friends and family. The first thing I'm going to say about this before we get into the video is if you're like, I'm gonna say six or under, you're gonna wanna get your parents help with this. Or if you have siblings, you're gonna wanna get your siblings help with this because you are going to need to use scissors and you just don't wanna get hurt. It's a bad situation. So the items you're going to need are simple items that you'll be able to find around the house and don't worry after the video is done I will be listing in the description the items that you're going to need just to be sure that you know what you're going to need just in case if you forget or anything then um, I'll list them down below just uh, just in case as a reminder. So what you're going to need is some printer paper or cardstock, roughly eight and a half by 11. That's ideal size, unless you can get square paper, like I don't know, origami paper, but it has to be square. You're gonna need some scissors, a stapler, and scotch tape. And if you're OCD like I am, you might wanna grab a pencil and a ruler too. But today, because I've done it before, I'm gonna be eyeballing it a little bit more. And I think it's gonna be okay. So let's get into it. So step one, you are going to need your first piece of um, bleh, sorry, I can't talk. You're gonna need your first piece of paper. This one is an extra piece that I'm just using to show you guys the first step. So this is your eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. This is cardstock, I'm using cardstock today. So eight and a half by 11. And then like it says here, you can use paper or cardstock. And if you guys are feeling really, really festive and you don't just wanna stick like bland white, feel free to use like blue or even if you want, change it up, do whatever color you want. Really, it's up to you. But I happen to not have any colored paper today, so I'm just gonna do it plain white. So to make it a bit more convenient, I've put dotted lines on it just to show you guys a rough idea of where you're gonna start the process. So you're going to take your piece of eight and a half by 11 paper and you're going to pick one corner like so and then fold it as precise and even along the top here as you possibly can. And then yes, the, the dots aren't perfectly lined up. I'm sorry about that. Again, if you're OCD, I'm so sorry. Not, to, not trying to offend here, but like I said, just eyeballing it. But it will give you an idea of what you're supposed to do. So from here outward, the part that's not folded, you're gonna wanna trim that. But if you are a perfectionist, then once you're folded here, you can use a ruler and a pencil and just make your perfect line. And then you are going to want to trim along the line. And afterwards, it's going to look something like this. Your final square piece of paper. And like I said, you're gonna need six equal size square pieces of paper to make the snowflake. So I already have my six 
pre-made just to make this video a little bit faster and each one is at like a different stage for this video so this is your first piece step two as you can see there are already creases so you fold it in half this way and then you make a second triangle and then hopefully you can see there's the little like envelope part it's so this is me facing forward this is my right side this is my left side the little envelope part is going to be facing the left so now i'm going to move on to my next piece of paper so this is where you're going to need your scissors after you've done the first step and after you've made your square piece of paper you are going to take your scissors and you are going to make three equal cuts so not fully to the edge you're going to want kind of border around there a nice equal border get it as equal as you can this part is going to be important so three simple cuts i'm i'm not cutting it like i'm not going really in depth but you can see that there are three individual cuts here right so after that let's see where's my other piece okay i guess this is the piece i'm gonna use so after you've done that you are going to unfold this piece and this is what it's going to look like it's gonna look something like this really cool right it looks it's pretty cool so now what you're going to do is you are going to take your tape you are going to start from the middle and you're going to want to flatten all these creases out so start from your middle square with the triangles and you are going to pick one way and make a cylinder and then you're going to tape that cylinder together so that it stays as a cylinder so this piece of tape is i'm going to say like an inch long maybe just over an inch so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to tape this piece down and then i'm going to flip it over and as you can see it's flat now I'm going to take the second bit and then I'm going to fold it the opposite way and I'm going to tape it down again. To speed this up, let's make this go a bit fast. And when you're done, you should have something that looks like this. So you're going to want to do that for all six pieces of your paper. I've already done mine in advance. So now I have one, two, three, and now I'm going to take my stapler. And again, if you're like eight or under, get your parents help with this. You don't want to staple your fingers together. So you're going to put it right in the middle press hard and then these three pieces are now going to be stuck together yay so now you're going to take your other three and the three that you've already stapled and this part might be a little difficult to do so you might want to get help you're going to staple all six of these together Oh, that actually worked out okay okay so now you're gonna have something that looks like this and yes it looks good but it's not quite complete you're still missing something oh this piece came undone so let's fix that piece right here before I lose it completely So now what you're going to do is these middle pieces here, right here, 
And on the same side, you can just these pieces together. And you're gonna continue doing that all the way around until each one basically has a little buddy that it's um, that it's able to. Okay, there we go. right in the middle here so before we staple this one let's make sure that we fix oh. Continue going all the way around until each one is stapled together, and you kind of have the flower shape. So this is my last one here. snowflake so what you can do if you want is you could pick a side like maybe here and you could put a hole punch there and then you could put a piece of thread or something maybe tie it to a paper clip or something and you could pick a spot anywhere really and then hang it which would also look really really lovely and it doesn't necessarily have to be a snowflake this big. Really all that matters is that you have six squares the same size and that you fold them all the same way and that they match when you put them together. So feel free to make them as small as you want, as big as you want, anything like that. And of course, any color you want. It's really up to you when it comes to that. So that's, uh, that's the fun Christmas craft for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully you and your family will have fun making it. And again, don't limit your options. Just, just go crazy with it. Even if you want to before you staple all these, um, I'm going to call them petals for lack of a better word. Before you put all these pieces together. Feel free to like go over it with a marker or something and like draw your own designs on it. Make it creative. And you don't necessarily have to put the three slits. You can put any kind of cut lines you want. So that way when you undo it, you get different patterns because as we all know, snowflakes aren't identical. So the more variety you have, I guess the more accurate it'll be. And it'll just look really, really lovely. Fun, quick, easy craft to do, fun for the whole family, but again, make sure that you get help from your siblings or your parents if you are a younger child and you still want to do this craft because nobody wants to get hurt. So I hope you like this craft. Again, I'll be leaving a list of all the items you're going to need for the craft in the description in case you missed anything or you just want to double check it will be there i hope you have a good week and all that stuff and um peace out